First of all, learn to fight, was the bartender's answer. Maybe some headlocks or a swift but deadly karate chop to the neck. All the skills you've honed until now you realize are useless. The blue sky not even cerulean blue, but vermilion, Picasso blue period blue. Reporters are writing op-eds about mermaids, things they know nothing about. Everyone is getting drunk on something, sometimes every night. Where else to turn? Above, the crows have their own shit to deal with. Walking the city streets for hours, you compose in your mind beginnings of letters. Dear lamppost, dear homeless man, dear multitude of microscopic creatures burrowed into my eyelashes, dear post-bender cough, incurable hangover, dear horrible gift I cannot regift, dear dog-eared pages whose value I can't and will never remember, dear irrational fear of quicksand, Dear Earth's churning magma I will never see or smell. Dear men steering subways at night. Dear the dark dreams of those men. Dear cigarette butts left in bottles I didn't check before swigging. Dear occasional and uncontrollable eye twitch. Dear pockmark, chipped tooth. Dear lie to cover up another lie. Someone must know how to conquer these tests. Unfocus your eyes and the image in question will appear. Remember slug bugs, slip and slides, how good you once were at things. You turn corners, taxi cabs honking at pedestrians, at each other. At a fruit stand, an old woman tells you, every apple you pick up and put down is left with just a little of your germs. <laughs> <laughs> you think few would have been the more grammatical word, few of your germs. You have learned that it is worthwhile to control your facial expressions, to appear genuine at all times. You have learned to fill in fully and darkly the bubbles, as exemplified by the diagram. You've learned two-day minimum, liquor before beer. You've learned Anopheles mosquito, mitochondria, controversies about the shape of our universe. At the crosswalk, someone has blacked out with tape all the fingers but the middle one on the red flashing hand. As you wander, your mind enters through store windows with hand grenades exploding silently. The sun resembles a gouged out eye. Something must be done. At a grate leading down to the subway, you stop. You are now the great itself. You are now the thrashing of trains through the dark. Further down, you are the stretched out squeal of brakes. You remain the sound as it travels back up flecks of tunnel grime, corroded vents, weaving through air ducts of the building above, towards the bright light of a room in which a piano concerto plays loudly and a woman is perched face down on all fours naked over the plush floor, waiting for someone to come out of the shower. On the street corner looking around, you are now you again, not knowing what goes on in rooms of buildings around you, restrained as you are by what you can imagine. You decide for sure you will never hear yourself say, but in jest, or at least not out loud, let us give thanks, or let us try harder to be better people. You picture all the people you should never picture during sex. <laughs> your memory flashes back to you and your brother punching each other in the backyard to see what it felt like getting hit. So many tests harder now. The honking forms a surface of the city, a blanket of frayed holes. Somewhere your germs are swimming about on the surface of an apple a young girl bites into. Somewhere a shower stops. The words, bless your heart, are being said over and over in church pews, hospital rooms, rent by the hour motels. Networks of trains are here and now rushing through parts of the American landscape no one, not anyone, has seen, hauling rubber, petroleum, fully assembled and ready to attach doorknobs. You discern patterns in all this, 
but nothing definitive. Not until you read it in a book about boxing do you realize, finally, bum rush is a term for rushing forward when your opponent isn't looking. So fast they wouldn't see you even if they were. Every day amid the shot deer and vermin, ripening in the workshop's heat, you came to know those rotting snouts, the matted fur, this before and after. You watched him score out with instruments the soft eyeballs, place in their hollows the flawless marbles, splay open the torso's flanks, trading the innards for hay. You learned how all of this ends in rigid poise and perfection, sharpening fat sewing needles in the kitchen with your mother who did not know what you would become. Check my vital signs and start from there. Make the line grow wobbly, the beep deafening. Make me want to snort you up my nose to hold your hand in Russian roulette to stare down the barrel and think this moment is our last. Make me make a fast getaway in a Lamborghini with counterfeit plates and something in the truck trunk that will put us both in prison for life. Give me bullets to hunt the things hunted by ravenous ostrich. Make me shrink you small enough to swing from piano strings as I hammer out Yankee Doodle drunk on whiskey. Make me want a coup d'etat to crack a bottle over someone's head. Make me want to cut the head off and watch the body live on. Make me hand carve decoder rings to decipher your letters, to learn, check, to understand your sweet nothings. Make me so angry I feel like Gaddafi, Hussein, like Hitler, you jerk. Make me so weak I must devour the house plants, the old sage rotting in the backyard. Make me turn the living room furniture sideways for our fortress, dear, against the oncoming days. The hours of sleep we'll lose, fucking in the thorn bushes of your childhood nightmares. Red light me, Barcelona me, turn up the music, burst the piñata over the floor. Make me pick up the pieces, post-lost bet, post-lost parents, Orphaned in the night, Argentina, dirty war me, dig me up and match me to no ancestors. Bay of pigs me, leave me for dead and then come back when you hear me, still barely breathing. Thank you guys. <laughs>